Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome to another My Thoughts video. This one is not unlisted because, well, it doesn't really have any need for Flame Wars. So let's break down the information that we got regarding uh, our friend, the lady that shan't be named. I actually don't want to spend that much time talking about the 3DS projections because some of those we've already kind of confirmed that Nintendo is both working on and is planning on getting them out. Uh, Paper Mario 3DS is one of the titles, and of course Animal Crossing, and Mario Kart. So, yeah. I would like to spend most of our time on Project Cafe as it interests me the most. So, 20 playable titles for Cafe. I actually think that this rumor is very possible. Considering how long the system has been in development and a heavily guarded secret, um, I think that this is a big possibility. However, I don't think that these will be new games, and most of them will be ports for upcoming 360 and PS3 titles releasing in 2012. Since developers have already gone on the record saying that it will be very easy to transfer over the games that they're working on for those systems for Nintendo's new system. Pikmin 3, this is one I'm kind of on the fence on, because Miyamoto has only been talking about Mario of late. So this is hard for me to put this as even a possibility. Although I know IGN, a lot of other uh, publications have been wanting Pikmin 3 for a very long time. Uh, I really don't see this happening, but again, that's just my guess. However, I really do think that we will see Soul Calibur 5 as a launch title for the next system, especially for a 2012 release. Although if this happens, I hope that Link or somebody from Fire Emblem makes it into the roster. From what I've heard uh, in the industry is that Nintendo has actually been talking to Namco Bandai to get the ball rolling and have their fighter appear on Nintendo's next console the way that Street Fighter appeared on the 3DS at launch. And being a huge fan of Soul Calibur, specifically Soul Calibur 2 for the GameCube, I think this would be a great thing. So, uh, for right now, I think that this is a very possible thing, and we can move this to very likely. Now, about Ubisoft uh, doing three launch titles for Cafe, again, I actually think this rumor is true. Ubisoft has been giving strong support for both the Wii and 3DS at launch. they also been uh, one of the only developers I can think to leap to defend the cafe during its uh, leaked development as they're very impressed with the hardware and says that this system is going to blow people away. On to Nintendo about wanting to have an awesome FPS game at launch. Uh, personally, their track record hasn't been the best with uh, first-person shooters. Going all the way back to Geist and Conduit, uh, the only one that I can think of that would be really good first-person shooter isn't really a first-person shooter, it's Prime. Prime was more like a first-person adventure game with some shooting elements. An amazing game, mind you, but it wasn't a traditional FPS game. So, uh, I, I really don't know about this. Um, I really think that it's probably possible considering that Nintendo of America's president is a big shooter fan. However, the uh, shooters that have been released on the Nintendo systems, the expectations haven't been very good and consumers just really haven't bought them. So I don't know, I'm I'm very skeptical about this. The Smash Brothers thing, I think that this is very, very true. Remember Sakurai said that Brawl was his last time directing and publishing it, and he wanted to move away from Nintendo. Yet, the guy flip-flops a lot, and I really don't know where he is half the time. Remember, he leaped at the opportunity to recreate Pit for the 3DS, so unfortunately, I never know what this guy's gonna do, and no one in the industry does as well. Still, the good thing about Smash Brothers is it is owned fully by Nintendo. It's not a split property, so we can expect to see Smash Brothers eventually, and uh, what its record has been is it always seems to arrive when a new system launches. Although it released near the end of N64 cycle, it did at least get announced for Wii. It didn't arrive until 2008, but it was in the launch window for the GameCube, so... I'm very hopeful about this. Uh, personally, I don't think that anything is going to be mentioned about the game other than that it's in development. I don't think they're going to have a trailer to show or anything like that. I don't know if it's going to be a back room, like, uh, close to the press type thing like they did with Brawl for the first time, but I think that Nintendo will mention that it's in development because it is one of their big, big uh, advanced franchises. So about Rockstar developing a title for Cafe, I think that this is one of the big announcements that Nintendo's gonna have personally. 
and that it's uh, been going on since the system has been leaked. So it's no surprise that NOA is big Rockstar fans, and they desperately want to reach out to the consumers of the 360 and PS3, so it would be a no-brainer for Rockstar to be doing something for CAFE. I have no idea what title would be in development. Some people are saying Grand Theft Auto V. Some people are saying another type of Red Dead Redemption. We have no way of knowing until next week. Out of some of the things that Emily has said, some things have already come out to be true, but I think she just put this on here so she doesn't lose complete credibility. I'm of course talking about the Wii not having a hard drive, we all know it has onboard flash memory, and a souped up flash cards that exceed current uh, limitations. But of course, no hard drive. Another factor that has, of course, been proven is that Nintendo is doing their best to improve the online functionality of the Wii 2. So, that's something that we can move to. Okay, this is definitely true. And, uh, we'll find out more next week. I personally hope that <laughs> this lady is kind of wrong about some things, but I don't think it's a stretch about her Project Cafe stuff. Metroid being in development already for the 3DS, I don't see that as possible right now because they just released the Metroid Prime Collection, they just had Other M, and I think that they want to put most of their focus on Nintendo's next system. So I'm, I'm going to go with uh, Adam Sessler on this and just be, you know, um, it's very, very possible that what she said about Project Cafe will come to pass. But um, you can quote me on saying that the 20 titles that are playable, they're going to be ports of current projects that are on PS3 and 360 for 2011 and 2012 releases. That's a no-brainer. So anyway, thanks so much for watching my thoughts. I hope you guys have a great day. Feel free to chat amongst yourselves about this. Until we meet again, gamers, God bless and happy gaming.